uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, intro screens so uh, I have designed uh, three intro screens in my uh, Adobe XD so those screens should look like that and uh, now uh, we're going to create one simple project in Android Studio so you do that the same And once Android Studio finish uh, building our product, we are going to start uh, uh, with the code. So first switch from Android to Project View. So we can uh, add a few uh, images or pictures. Um, so open up a project file folder and uh, we are going to copy three of those uh, images. Um, we are going to do that for uh, each of the drawable folder and uh, then switch back to uh, Android view and uh, in colors XML we are going to implement three colors so uh, you are going to find those three colors in this project folder which will be uh, uh, which will I post in the description so just copy those three colors and we are going to add one more and that is white color after that we're going to open strings XML file and uh, add a uh, few strings uh, uh, strings for titles for three different titles and for three different screens uh, first one will be welcome second improve your skills and the third uh, grow your audience after that uh, we're going to add one more string for the description description will be simple uh, lorem ipsum uh, text okay and uh, after that we're going to add three more uh, strings for uh, next back and the down button we forgot to do that and now that we have uh, set up uh, our strings and colors um, we can change the theme to no action bar and uh, now we can uh, create uh, three fragments first fragment will be named first fragment and we are going to uh, uncheck those two options and the second fragment will be named second fragment and the third will be third fragment again check out those two options again and do the same for the third uh, fragment as well So now that we have uh, created those, truth, uh, those three fragments, we're going to create one um, uh, Java class, Java class. Uh, this class will be named the uh, Intro Adapter, and this class will extend the uh, Fragment Pager Adapter class. Uh, we have uh, error here. That means we need to implement uh, two methods: get item and get count. And again, we are going to need to create a constructor. So in the method get count uh, we are going to type return 3 because we have 3 intro screens and uh, in get item uh, we are going to use a switch statement and we are going to change this i to position so uh, we will say uh, case 0 we are going, if case 0 we are going to create a first fragment if case 1 we are going to create second fragment and in case 2 we are going to create third fragment and of course default will be uh, return null so uh, after that uh, we are going to switch back to main activity a layout and we are going to add a pager adapter a view pager sorry and we view pager will be uh, uh, id will be view pager of course uh, next uh, what we are going to do uh, let's see we're going to uh, go uh, go to fragment first layout and we're going to switch from frame to linear layout uh, orientation will be vertical padding will set to 16 and the background will be color color primary like that so we're going to add one image view and that image view we uh, will have uh, will have this uh, first slide image 
uh, we imported uh, later ago, a uh, few moments ago. Uh, so uh, we'll set uh, width and height to mm, 250 dp, like that. And we need to center this image with a, a lay, uh, with a gravity layout gravity, like that. And um, we will set margin top to 50 dp. Okay, now we have our first image uh, implemented. We will add two more texts, one for uh, title and the second for description. The first uh, text will have a uh, text uh, title one. And text size will be 26 sp. Text color will be, uh, let's say, color uh, ascent, like that. Uh, gravity to center. Um, and uh, we're going to add uh, fonts, so we're going to create new Android uh, resource directory font. And in this folder, uh, in this folder, we're going to add uh, those three fonts. But before that, switch to Project View, and then just drag and drop those two, those three fonts like that. Click OK, and that's it. Now change this second text to uh, text description. Uh, the first uh, text font will be Leto Regular and the second will be Leto Light with a text size of 18 SP. Uh, text color white, of course, and OK. We are going to set uh, gravity to center like that. And uh, all, we are almost done uh, with our first uh, intro screen. We're just going to set the margin of our first text to 40 SP. 40 dp, oh, sorry. Okay, and we're going to add uh, one more uh, linear layout and uh, one text view here. So the text view will have a text uh, next. This will be, uh, let's say, next button. So text size of this uh, will be 18 uh, sp. Text color will be uh, color ascent. And we're going to just move this text on the right side. Of course, the font will be light to light. And we're going to we're just going to move this uh, to um, bottom end and we're going to add um, uh, layout gravity and gravity bottom end okay so now we have it but uh, but before that we're going to uh, in our main activity we're going to initialize uh, view pager we're going to find the ID and then we are going to uh, use our uh, intro adapter, which we we'll, uh, which we created uh, uh, back then, and we are going to set the adapter on our view pager. And um, okay, now we have, as you can see, we are moving uh, from one screen to the other. Uh, now let's uh, let's do the next thing. In the first fragment, uh, we need to to add uh, on click listener or for this uh, next button or next text. So we'll say uh, clickable true and focusable true. Then we'll change the ID of this to slide one next. This one means uh, first fragment or first slide. So we are going to initialize uh, this uh, this text view. And uh, we are we are going to use a view, so we're going to return that view. And uh, next we are going to use a uh, next uh, uh, to find the ID. We are going to use that view, like uh, I just did. And of course uh, view pager. So we need a view pager from uh, our main activity. We are going to use again uh, get activity method to find the ID of view pager from uh, main activity. And uh, after that, I'm just going to uh, set the comment here so you can. Uh, so this can be uh, more uh, readable code. So I'm going to set uh, on click method uh, next. Uh, view pager set uh, current item to one uh, because uh, those uh, 
uh, intro screens start with a zero and our first screen is zero, our second screen is number one and our third screen is number two. So just you know that. Keep in mind. And um, okay, so I'm going to copy this uh, uh, fragment first layout to our fragment second layout so we don't need to uh, write code from uh, from the beginning. And we're going to change just the root uh, layout and add uh, orientation, padding and background color. So uh, now we're going to change just uh, those IDs and uh, we're going to change just uh, text from title 1 to title 2. Uh, we're going to change the image uh, from uh, OK. So we have another different image. And uh, more, we're going to add one more button, uh, which will be back button. Of course. Uh, will be 20 SP, text color, color is sent, font, letter, light, light as well. And uh, we'll set clickable and focusable to true. And we're going to move this button to uh, bottom start, like that. Okay, so we have created our second uh, uh, intro screen. And uh, let's add this ID. Next, we're going to uh, copy those uh, things from the first uh, fragment and add one more text view to our second fragment. Next, we're going to copy again this code so we don't need to write it from the beginning. Like that, we're going to change just this to fragment second and uh, add one more uh, ID and of course change this ID. Uh, so we're going to add uh, on click listener for a back button. Uh, just a moment, okay, so let's find the ID first Slide uh, two back because this is the second uh, Second intro screen so set on click listener new on click listener and uh, Use the view pager to set current item to zero because our first intro screen is uh, zero And let's try it out So there you go as you can see, we have successfully created our second screen. And finally, let's uh, start with the writing uh, for creating our uh, third fragment or inter screen. So again, change the root element, add the uh, add, uh, orientation, background and padding as well. And just copy this code from the second, uh, second fragment layout. So we're going to change the, those IDs as well. And uh, of course, uh, text and image will be uh, different. And there you go. So now we are going to change this uh, to letter bold. The down button, down button will be letter bold. It will be different from uh, next and uh, back button. And now let's do the same for the third fragment. I will just copy this code again. And uh, I'm going to initialize view pager and the two edit texts, one for back and one for done. Like that. And I'm going to change this. Uh, okay. Uh, for done button, I will just add one toast message so you know that uh, those intro screens are done, but you can uh, create intent and uh, uh, switch to another uh, activity if you want. That's on you. And now finally, let's start our application and let's check it out. So go next. Oh, okay, we have an error. So let's see what this is all about. Uh, 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 okay, I think I know. We need to change those IDs. I forgot to change those IDs when I copied the code. So uh, this is a lesson again. OK, so now uh, let's wait until it starts. And there you go. And when you click uh, done button, it will show you toast message done. 
So that's it. Uh, we have successfully created the uh, intro intro screens for our applications. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something in this video. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you like my content, of course. And that's it. Um, thank you again and see you in the next video.